Thank you for tuning in to Lackey USA videos. This video will demonstrate how to install a standard Panic Shield security kit. You will need to follow the 3 in 1 standard Panic Shield security kit instruction document as you watch this video. To download the instructions, please go to www.lockkeyusa.com forward slash resources. Please review the following tools you will need to install your Panic Shield kit. Determine the hole pattern that matches the panic bar you will be installing. Each panic shield is pre-drilled for three different types of panic bars. Confirm the hole pattern for your panic bar by using the diagrams in the instruction document. The measurement will be used later in the installation process. The top left mounting hole for a right handed 285P or the top right mounting hole for a left handed 285P on the panic bar head must have a rib track bolt tacked on with a rubber mallet before installing the lock. For a right-handed 285P, choose a spindle with an R on it. For a left-handed 285P, choose a spindle with an L on it. Break the tab on the spindle if needed. For a right-handed 285P, insert the spindle at a 2 and 8 o'clock position, or for a left-handed 285P, insert the spindle at a 10 and 4 o'clock position. Depending on the panic bar that you are using, you may need to remove the head cover. If using a Locky USA PB1100, you will remove the four screws and then remove the head cover. Adjust the panic shield to the width of the gate that was determined previously in this video. You may install your max guard at this time or you may install it once everything is on the gate as shown in this video. Forty to forty two inches is the standard height to mount exit devices. Check your local code for the proper height before installing.
Install the panic bar strike plate onto the strike bracket. For more information, visit www.lockeyusa.com or call Lockey USA Technical Support at 888-395-0163.